Enthusiasm is infectious. When you truly love something, wholly and uncynically with every fiber of your being, it has a tendency to take hold in the hearts and minds of those around you. That's the feeling I get when I play Guacamole. It's not a game about nostalgia, but the guileless love of gaming. Guacamole is a Metroidvania-style action-adventure game for the PlayStation 3 and Vita by indie developers Drinkbox Studios. In it, you play a Mexican agave farmer named Juan, who's killed when the love of his life is kidnapped by an evil skeleton named Carlos Colaca. In the Land of the Dead, Juan finds a mask that transforms him into a magical luchador, allowing him to return to the world of the living so he can set things right. The game is very much an absurd love letter to both Mexican pop culture and old-school gaming. Stylized depictions of Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead, and Lucha Libre are placed firmly next to veiled iconography from classic games like Zelda, Metroid, and Mega Man. Those references are apropos. Guacamole feels rooted in the 16-bit era, but what I really love is how it mixes old tropes with new ones. Juan eventually gains the ability to switch between the land of the living and the land of the dead, with certain enemies and platforms existing only within one plane of existence. The switching mechanic creates combat that feels like Smash Brothers bred with Ikaruga, a system that's complex, but in no way complicated. The game also allows a second player to hop in for some tag team Lucha Libre style co-op. It helps that this game oozes charm. Interactions with characters are amusing and adorable, and the design, from the garish CMYKs of the Day of the Dead to the tattered and dusty wrestling posters, seems thorough and well thought out. If more games tried to be this unique with their visual style, the world would be a better place. Guacamole is not perfect. At times, the level design feels like a series of boxes, and occasionally a joke or reference will fall flat on its face. But those are minor criticisms. There is a palpable sense of devotion in this game, real thought and real effort in creating a gorgeous-looking and feeling universe. Guacamelee tries just a little bit harder, and the result is a labor of love, an ode to games we devoured growing up. Playing Guacamelee, I was reminded of being seven years old, playing Act Razor in my pajamas on a Saturday morning. And you know what? Minor child approves.